Welcome to the second part of the hardware review of the VKB Gunfighter Mark III series in the Space Combat Premium version. In this part of the review series, we go into more detail about the technical specifications, the possibilities and adjustments to the cams and springs. We also update the firmware and perform a calibration before configuring the axes and buttons in the game. And after we have presented you with extensive tips on joysticks, bug fixes, additional tools and more in various guides, we refer you to the appropriate guides at the appropriate places. And of course, we would like to point you to the first part of our review of the Gunfighter Mark III series. The hardware was provided to us free of charge by our partner VKB, but without any influence or specifications. So it is our own free opinion. But first of all, a big thank you to the true ladies and gentlemen who make this video possible, with their support as Patreons, channel members or Twitch subscribers. Thank you! The massive Gunfighter Mark III base, made entirely of metal, offers a more than solid mounting for all available grips from VKB, on about 9 by 10 cm. However, the base is not compatible with grips from other manufacturers, which is the case with most manufacturers in the premium segment. In contrast to the cheaper Gladiator series, the Gunfighter base has no additional buttons, switches and axles in exchange for the smallest possible design with maximum quality. A plus, however, is the connection to the computer via the external black box, which offers further connection options, for example for pedals or expansion modules, and saves us some cable triangle. In addition, we only need a single USB 2 port. A great strength of the Gunfighter base is the possibility to exchange the different cams and springs included in the extensive scope of delivery, which allows a perfect adaption to our own needs and circumstances. For example, we can add various extensions and adapters with stronger springs to compensate for additional weight and leverage. To do this, we go through the various points step by step, using the Allen key included in the delivery to loosen the four screws on the base to access the interior. We also recommend removing the gunfighter base from the base plate beforehand. After loosening the four stainless steel screws, we can carefully detach the stick from the housing, leaving a cable connection to the cable connector, which will not be damaged if removed carefully. We disconnect this cable connection from the housing again by carefully loosening the cable at the connector on the housing. Here we do not pull on the cable but press the clip on the connector and pull it off. And with this we have created the conditions for the exchange of the cams and springs of the Gunfighter Mark III base. Optionally, it is also possible to remove the grip in advance, but this is not a prerequisite. You will find step-by-step -step instructions on how to attach and remove the grip in the first part of the review. In the next section we will change the cams and the springs. Except for a 7mm spanner, all the necessary tools and replacement materials are already included. For the cams we find the AVR cams with progressive load already at the base, developed for flight simulations, as well as the space variants with linear load for space simulations in the scope of delivery. You will quickly find out which version is the right one for you after a test. In the end, we really flew more evenly with the space variant for space simulations. The cams are fixed with an Allen screw and a 7mm nut. As shown here, it is possible to lose the screw on the cam first and remove the spring afterwards, but we recommend that you remove the spring first and then loosen the cam. However, due to the spring's tension and the sufficiently strong fastening screws, no damage will occur, so you cannot make a mistake. To finally remove the spring, we first push it carefully into the notch of the cam and then pull it off carefully using the spring tool provided a wire with a pull ring. Then we can remove the cam from the ball bearing holder. Make sure, however, that you use the two small washers. To replace the cam, simply pull it off and insert the other version in the same way. Because apart from the milling, both components are identical. 
It is still possible to use different cams for individual axles, but we recommend replacing both cams for better handling. To do this, we proceed in the same way again, first loosening the spring and then the fastening screw. When inserting the new cam, we again make sure to use the washers to ensure faultless functioning. When tightening the screws, hand tightening is sufficient. By means of the spring tool, we can also replace the springs as desired, whereby we strongly recommend using the 50 springs, especially when using extensions such as the handle extensions, in order to not only achieve more comfortable handling, but also to prevent wear and damage. Basically, however, it is again a matter of taste how strong or soft the spring tension of the various axles should be which has a direct effect on the movements of the stick and its counteraction on your hand. After the work is done, we check all the relevant screws and springs again for tightness and can reconnect the connection cable through the housing to the cable connection board. And here again, the hind to pay attention to the cable connections as they are not designed for tight pull. By screwing the housing with the four stainless steel screws, we have completed the exchange. Alternatively, we can screw the Gunfighter Mark III base to the base plate or appropriate chair or table bracket. And this brings us to the next section, the software. On vkbcontrollers.com, we can download the free firmware as well as the apps VKB Dev Config and Z Bootloader. Directly without installation, we can run the devconfig application, we recommend to start it as admin and find our joystick connected via USB with a version indication. If this is under the current firmware on the website, we start the Z-Bootloader again in admin mode and select our joystick again with a double click, whereby we enter boot mode. In the downloaded firmware file, select the corresponding entry for our black box where Mark II stands for the black version, and select the appropriate firmware which is labeled with abbreviations for our grip. And with a click on Flash It, we carry out the firmware upgrade, whereby we receive a confirmation message afterwards and the device is read in again. With the devconfig app, we can then check whether our firmware has been updated accordingly. In any case, after the first connection, changes to the hardware, a firmware update or in case of inaccuracies, we recommend a complete calibration of the stick, whereby this only takes a few moments. After starting the device config app and selecting the corresponding device, we first click on test in the lower area and on tools in the upper area, whereby we recommend going to access for visualization and then starting the calibration. This gives us a visual indication of the function of the calibration and the individual axes and buttons. To calibrate the device, we move the stick to the maximum positions of the individual axes, whereby we receive visual feedback in the devconfig app as to whether a maximum movement also leads to a maximum deflection of the respective axes. Furthermore, after the calibration is complete, the display of the axis should be in the middle as long as we do not touch the stick. Especially in the case of easily detectable movements without any movement input on the stick, it is advisable to carry out the calibration again, as this problem picture can often be reconciled with calibrations that are not completely finished. In addition, we can visualize all buttons and additional functions of our grip via buttons as well. After finishing the inputs, we can finish the calibration by pressing and calip, whereby the device is reinitialized. And since there are extensive possibilities for customizing functions and buttons, you will find some step-by-step -step instructions in the linked video, for example to put a mouse function on a thumbstick. To use your stick in the game, you can make the settings directly in the game, without installing a driver. In Star Citizen, we go to the options and the key bindings in the upper area. 
Then we select joystick in the lower section and go to advanced controls. Alternatively, you can import a ready-made profile or reassign all the keys and axes yourself. In our Discord, you will find ready-made profiles with corresponding graphic mappings for various devices. And of course, you will find soon a corresponding template for the Gunfighter Mark III in the Space Combat Premium version. To assign a button or axis, we select the corresponding function via the menu and after double-clicking, we can press the button or axis on the joystick to assign it to a function. In order not to lose the overview, you will also find blank assignments in our download area, which will help you not to lose the overview of which button and function you have selected. In addition, in the dedicated joystick and hotas guide, you will find very comprehensive information on various bug fixes, special console commands for Star Citizen, joystick tools and aids, as well as frequently asked questions and answers, such as inverting axes or configuration options. We come to the summary and the conclusion of the VKB Gunfighter Mark III base. The very high quality of workmanship of the Mark III and the materials used leave nothing to be desired. Thanks to the dry couplings, stainless steel cams and full metal gimbals, the Gunfighter also offers a premium technical level. The possibility of extensive customization and upgrades in combination with the very good scope of delivery round off the offer. On the other hand, there is a rather high price, no control elements at the base, which the cheaper Gladiator series offers, as well as the tool not included in the scope of delivery to change the included cams. In conclusion, we can definitely recommend the Gunfighter Mark III in the premium range, as it is technically and qualitatively one of the best bases on the market. In addition, the adaptability and durability are at a very high level.